Hey guys, Rusty Over here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to get the red flying cloud mount, which by the way, it isn't even red. And if it's talking about the circles on it, they're orange. They're not even red. But either way, it's still a unique mount for everyone that is not a mage. It's also incredibly easy to get. The way you get it is by collecting all the lore scrolls in Pandaria. So in this video, I will show you every single location of those scrolls. So you get a mount, you'll get a bunch of achievements, and you also get exalted with the lore walkers, which you can start working towards your 100 reputation mount. So let's get started. We're going to start off with the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Head over to the Seat of Knowledge here. And the first thing you want to do is talk to Zidormi, so you revert it back to pre-Nazoth invasions. If you do this during the Nazoth invasions, the scrolls won't show up. So again, you want to talk to Zidormi, so basically you have all the Shah stuff, you know, the, that the best war chief ever did, Garrosh, of course. Anyways, moving on to the first scroll, this is going to be near the Siege of Orgrimmar Raid Entrance. You can see there, that's the Meeting Stone. Right to the right of the Meeting Stone, you're going to have this little shrine here for the Emperor's Burden Part 8 scroll. Simply click on it, and that blue light above it will go away, meaning you collected it. Next one is by the Tu Shen Burial Ground. This has this is actually near where the Will of Nazoth Rare Spawn spawns. Now you can see here, I already collected the scroll, that's why the blue one's not there. Go ahead and click the always remember scroll. Moving on to the third one in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. This one is going to be in Mist Fall Village, which also that's the hallway that would normally lead to the Rajani Quartermaster, basically where you turn in all your dailies. And right there is going to be the Thunder King scroll. And the final one for the Veil of Eternal Blossoms is going to be above Gulai Halls, not down below. Normally you have one of the daily spawn here, one of the daily events. This instead behind the statue, you have the together we are strong scroll and that will be the final one for the veil we're going to move on to town long steps head over to hatred's vice to the western end or eastern end of town long steps and over by this hut here near all the hyenas you're going to have the trap in a strange land scroll simply go ahead and click that and the second one by the way there's only three in town long so it's pretty quick Second one, head over to Fire Camp also here, and you can see there's Urang there, basically right by this name mob, by the totem here, you're going to have the Dominant Scroll. Simple enough, go ahead and click that one. And the final one is near Nia Zhao, to, I can never say this right, that place. Basically, it's where the old Valor and Justice Quartermasters are, and right by this little shrine here, you're going to have the Emperor's Burden Part 5 that you could go ahead and collect, and that will do it for Town Long Steps. Next, we're going to head over to the Dreadwaste, head over to Northern Dreadwaste, and where I am here, you're going to have this entrance here. Now, I thought this was originally just in the tree somewhere. Head over, go through that door into the Amber Vault, and you're going to fly all the way to the back. And in the back, you can see there's a little mantid statue here with the scroll right next to it. And it's going to be, believe it or not, the Amber Scroll in the Amber Vault. Makes sense. Moving on to the second one, head over to the Heart of Fear. This is going to be right near the Heart of Fear raid entrance. You're going to have this little Manted Village here. I believe it's to the right side if you're actually facing the entrance. Just go to where I am on the map, and you're going to have, again, by this Manta statue, you're going to have the Empress Scroll that you can go ahead and collect. Now, the next one, this is going to be east of the Heart of Fear. If you go there, you're going to see, like, this little Kachong, little Kachong. It's actually a big Kachong. Kachong, I think I said that right. The, basically, the big crab looking dude with the shell. You're going to have right by him, you're going to have the Cycle of the Manted Scroll that you can go ahead and collect. Moving on to the fourth one for the Dreadwaste, this is going to be west of the Lake of Stars. Now, I originally thought this one was going to be underground. It's not. It's above ground. Just go to where I am on the map. You're going to have a little Mantid statue here. Then you can go ahead and click on the Mantid Society scroll. And chances are, by the way, once you collect all the scrolls, you will get achievements. And the achievements will also give you rep with the Lore Walkers. For the final one for Dreadways, head over to the eastern end of the Lake of Stars. And over the Sara camp here, you're going to have the Deserters scroll that you can go ahead and collect. And that's the final one for the Dreadways. Moving on to the Valley of the Four Winds, head over to Pauquan Hollow, basically the little forest area where all the trees are, and you have this hut here in the back, you're going to have the Pandaren Fighting Tactics Lore Scroll, basically I believe it's talking about the first monks and all that stuff and how they rebelled against the Mogu. Second one, head over to the western end, eastern end of Stoneplow, and over to the right side of this building here, you're going to have the birthplace of Lu Lang, Lao Lang, I, I, I can't, I can't words good right now, I can't words good guys. Next one, head over to Storm Stout Brewery. Underrated dungeon, in my opinion. I actually really enjoyed it. And as you can see there, that's the meeting stone for Storm Stout Brewery. Go ahead and collect the Wandering Widow Scroll, which is right in front of the dungeon. Simple enough. Next one is going to be Half Hill in the middle of the Valley of the Four Winds. And this is going to be in the upper area of Half Hill. You can see here, this is the upper area where all the houses are. And right next to the entrance here, you're going to have a most famous bill of sale scroll, which is pretty much just a big receipt. Next one, fifth one, head over to the Pools of Purity, which I originally missed when I was recording this. However, don't miss this one. Just head over to the Pools of Purity, which is kind of like a Jinyu village. And right by this fish statue, you're going to have the Water Speakers Scroll. 
Moving on to the final one in the Valley of the Four Winds. This one is actually right by, if you're questing in the Valley of the Four Winds, one of the first areas that you go and quest to. Head over to the left of this building, and you're gonna have the Embracing the Passion Scroll, and that will all but do it for the Valley of the Four Winds. And we're gonna move on to Crash Rang Wilds, which by the way, you can see here, the map is actually wrong in Crash Rang. I'm clearly on the beach, although it shows me not being on the beach. It's weird. However, my position in relation to the scrolls is still accurate. So if, as long as you go to where I am, you'll find the scroll. Head over to the statue here on the beach and you can get the waiting for the turtle scroll. I, I don't know why the map is all screwed up. It's, it's, I, I don't know. Just go to where I am on the map and you'll find the scrolls. Next one, head over to the ruins of Dojan. Now you can see that lake in the middle there. That's actually where it should be or where you should be on the map. But again, map is a little thrown off. And anyways, just head there. You can see that little water elemental being tortured right by this Mogu statue. You'll have the lost dynasty scroll. Now for the next one, head over to the west of Crane Wing Refuge. Now once you go there, there's gonna be a giant lake and there's also gonna be a waterfall here. Simply just like every other game, fly behind the waterfall and inside it, you're gonna have the last stand scroll. They, they always hide stuff behind waterfalls, guys. I mean, come on. Next one is gonna be a little bit south of that waterfall where you just got that last scroll. And this one, you're gonna be in a little Jinyu village here and in the center building where there is a chance that a rare spawn could spawn, that guy right there. In the back of the building, you're gonna have the Origins Lore Scroll. Again, that rare spawn, if you're not sure to look, has a chance to spawn there and chances are he'll be out. Next one is going to be inside of the Temple of the Red Crane on the second floor. So to have, if you're facing the entrance, head over to the left side and fly through. All the way in the back here on the top floor, you're gonna have the Emperor's Burden Part 4 Scroll right next to this gun. It actually rings the gun. Well, I thought that was a cool little detail. I don't know, I like the small stuff, it makes me happy. Final one, which again here, look, it shows me in the water on the map, but I'm clearly above the beach. I, 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 I don't know. Anyways, head over to this little cave here on the southern island in Crash Rang Wiles, and you'll have the Hosen Maturity Scroll, which is the last one for this zone. Again, guys, the map will be a little thrown off. However, as long as you go to where I am on the map, you should find the scrolls no problem, or at least start recognizing the areas to get the scrolls. Next one is going to be the Jade Forest, which is one of the best looking zones in the game. Top three, in my opinion. Anyways, head over to the southern end here near this little destroyed village. And right by the destroyed statue, you're going to have the Water Smithing Scroll that you can go in and click on. Next one, head over to the Temple of the Jade Serpent. Again, very underrated dungeon in my opinion. I really enjoy this dungeon, maybe just because it looks, because I thought it looked good. Anyways, to the left of the entrance there, you have the Emperor's Burden Part 3 that you can go ahead and collect. Now, Dawn's Blossom, you can see, look at that lake, by the way. Look at that lake where I am. Tell me that doesn't look like a dick. That looks like a dick. It, it, it's a dick. Anyways, head over to Dawn's Blossom, and in the center of the dick lake, you're going to have the Emperor's Burden Part 1. The good, good job with the design of that lake blizzard. Next one, head over to Windward Isle, basically the far right side of the island there, and there are the Sarok here. You're going to have the Sarok scroll. Shocking. I know, right? Simple enough. Anyways, last one, or not the last one, excuse me, but the next one, north of Tian Monastery in the Terrace of Ten Thunders, the Mogu area. You're going to have all these spirit claws here, and kind of in the top part, in the back here, you're going to have the spirit binder scroll. Simple enough. Let's move on to the next one. Now, this one is southwest of the Tian Monastery near another lake. Not a dick lake, just a regular lake this time. But this one, you're going to go into this monk training grounds here. And to the right of the building, you're going to have the first monk. Shocking by that is by a bunch of monks, right? Makes sense. Now, moving on to the next one for the Jade Forest. I believe this is the last one. This is the western end of the Jade Forest, right by this Hosen statue here. You're going to have the Hosen Speech Scroll. They don't, they're not very good at speaking, but either way, you want the scroll. Next, before we move on to Kunlai Summit, you want to head over to the Veiled Stair. Now, if you're not sure that is, it's the area between the Veil of Eternal Blossoms and the Jade Forest where the old legendary cloak quest line used to be. Head over to the Veiled Stair near the Secret Ire, basically the northernmost part of the Veil, or excuse me, the Veiled Stair. And you're going to have this lake here, and then you're going to have an entrance to the cave, which is called the Ancient Passage. Fly there and go into the right through this tunnel. And if you open your map, you'll actually have the Ancient Passage map just to see where I am. Fly all the way to the back where all these Sarak are, and you're going to have the Defiant Scroll, which should be the last one, is like the Sarak Scroll, it's part of that one. Now, let's move on to Kunlai Summit. Northeast of Binan Village, Binan Village, again, can't say these words correctly, can't words good right now. Northeast of that village, you're going to have another Jinyu Village with a bunch of hostile Jinyu. And in the back of the center building, you're going to have the Roll Call Scroll. You'll have that little Ink Guild Deserter, it'll be a little, little bitch. Anyways, next one, move on to the Yongle Advance, which I'm sad they didn't do as much. They didn't, yeah, I can't speak. They didn't do more with the Yongle. I thought they were cool. Anyways, head over to this camp, and you're going to have the Yongle Scroll. Next one, you're going to head over to the Temple of the White Tiger, which is, you know, where the proving, proving grounds are, or at least where the scenario takes place. And right to the left of this bridge, you're going to have the Emperor's Burden Part 6. 
Next one, this is going to be near Mogushan Terrace to the entrance of the Mogushan Vaults Raid. This is basically right below it. You can see they're right by that hot air balloon. You're going to have the Victory and Kunlai scroll that you go ahead and collect. And again, you, once you collect all the scrolls, you get an achievement, which gives you rep for the lore walkers. Now the next one is inside of the Valley of Emperors. Head over to where I am on the map and over in this valley here. And you want to fly inside this hallway, which will lead you into the Tomb of the Conquerors. Keep flying through until you get to the main hall, which is a bunch of traps here. And you can see that scroll right on top of that table. Mistakes were made, by the way. Anyways, collect that scroll. And that is the Valley of the Emperors scroll. Next one is going to be east of the Shadow Pan Monastery, kind of near like this little, I don't know. Anyways, basically there's a rare spawn that you can see right there that can spawn there. And right next to the shrine, you have the Emperor's Bird in part seven. Now the next one is in that, or on top of that giant ass hill in the middle of Kunlai Summit. Not all the way at the top, but kind of near it. Just go to where I am on the map. And basically guys, right next to, I think that's actually Lord Walker Cho there. He's just chilling, he's coloring, he's drawing his rock. You have the seven burdens of Shadow, Emperor's Burden part two. Next one, head over to this basically little gladiatorial arena here. You have Chomp Chomp the Yeti there. And right by this big Hosen statue, you have the Hosen Ravage scroll that you can go ahead and collect. And finally, moving on to the last scroll for the video, south there, south of that where you just were, uh, west of Westwind Refuge, right near this totem here, you're gonna have the Yon Gull Tactics scroll, and that is every single scroll. Now again, once you collect all these scrolls, you'll earn achievements, and when you earn these achievements, that'll give you rep with the Lore Walkers. However, once you complete each achievement, you'll get a bunch of these in the mail. You should have, I believe it's eight or nine total. I wanna say it's nine. You should have nine of these total that you want to go and get from your mail, and they will start a quest. So start all the quests, and once you do, head back to the Seed of Knowledge, where Z Dormy was from the beginning of the video, go inside and you're going to turn all of these quests into lore walker cho and for every quest you turn in you will gain more rep and as long as you turn into every single one of these you should get exalted now when you do turn one in he'll start some rp and you won't be able to talk to him but a neat little trick if you want to skip that run outside of the seat of knowledge get on a flying mount and just fly away just fly away. I usually go fly up to uh, that giant shaw beam going up in the air. Then I'll turn around and head back in. And then another lore walker cho will spawn there. Just so you could speed up the RP and turn in the quest. Unless you want to sit there and watch the RP. I mean, it's some interesting lore if you're into that stuff. I mean, I am. I read it. I read it the first time I did this rep grind. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Again, you get rep from getting the achievements. And when you get the achievements, you get the scrolls in your mail and you go and turn those scrolls in and you get the reputation until you are eventually exalted with the lore walkers. And once you are, head over to the left, a war lore walker cho. And you're going to have the lore walkers quartermaster, whose name I'm not even going to bother to pronounce. And you can go ahead and buy the disc of the red flying cloud. Simple enough, even though, again, the mount is not red at all. It's not red at all. Those I, I thought it was originally referring to those circles on it. They're orange. Go and look at the circles on it. They're orange circles. Nothing on the mount is red. But again, it's still a unique mount for everyone that is not a mage. And that's it, guys. That is the guide. Very, very simple to do. It should take you maybe 45 minutes to an hour at the absolute most. And yeah, if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment down below. I do my best to answer every single question. I do hope this guide helped you. If it did, hey, throw it a like. Hey, if you're not subbed to the channel, subscribe. And as always, guys, Halo 3 was the best Halo. Listen, guys, I don't care if you like Halo 2. Listen, Halo 2 blew me away the first time I played it. Incredible game. It really was an incredible game. The only bad Halos are Halo 4 and 5. Let's be real. However, guys, Halo 3 is the best Halo. There's no argument. It's a fact. It's simply a fact. Sorry. Anyways, guys, until next time. Bye-bye.